this video we're going to be looking at the time complexity of array expansion. So when you have an array and when you add more elements than that array can take, basically what it would require is an expansion to that array to accommodate the new element that you added. Um, what In Java this expansion is basically by 50%. So if you had four elements then we would simply add two more elements and we would add your extra one. Um, what we're going to assume here, just to simplify the matter and to understand the concept, we're going to assume that the expansion is a 100% expansion. So if we had four spaces, then we're going to add four more. That's what we're going to do. 100% expansion. So we're going to see what is the complexity involved in that um, ex expansion operation. So the way we're going to be doing that is we're going to be looking at all the operations involved. So there are actually two types of operations. There's going to be copies. So we're going to be copying elements from the old array to the newer array, the larger array. And there's going to be additions. So we're going to be adding a new element to the expanded array. The new element that originally you wanted to add, but there was no space in the array. Well, there, this counts as an operation too. So we're going to assume that we start with a, a, an array uh, with one element, and that element is empty. So the first thing that happens is that we're basically going to add one element to that empty array. And then the moment we want to add the second element, we're going to realize it's full, so we're going to expand that array by 100%, which amounts to increasing it by another index. So we had one element, now we're up to two. But when we increase it to up to two, so this was our original array, there was an element, call it A, and this was our second array. What we're going to have to do, there are two operations, okay? We wanted to add B here. So we're going to take A, we're going to copy it to this new array. So this is one copy. And we're going to take our new element B, and we're going to add it here. So this is a an addition. So we have one here. Okay? So we're going to keep on doing this, and hopefully we'll get a, uh, we'll find a pattern, and we'll find the time complexity of this operation. So the next step, so at this point we are at, uh, so here we were at 2 to the 0, here are 2 to the 1. This is the number of elements that we have. Now at this point we want to add a new element, okay? So what's going to happen, we're going to be f uh, increasing it, increasing the size by doubling it so we're going to have four now so two to the two to the two this th these are the number of spaces which will eventually be filled with elements so that's why we're equating it to the number of elements here and how many copies are we going to have since we had two elements in the previous array the one right here then we're going to be doing two copies and um, two additions to fill it up so we're assuming that we're always filling up our new array so Right now we have an array of four elements and we filled it up. And it amounted so far to one addition, another addition, two more additions, and one copy and two copies. So we're going to keep on doing this, so two to the three. Right now we're going to have four copies, right? So we have four elements and we're taking it to an array of eight spaces, right? So um, we're going to have four copies, the four previous elements of the new array, and we're going to have four additions. So as you can see here, there's a pattern that starts to emerge. We basically have, um, in this case, 